All right, we're back out for another adventure. I'm here with my good friend, Tim. How's it going, Tim? Hey, going good. Hey, you too. Y'all might remember Tim back a, back about a year ago, I guess. We, right. we, we hunted together a lot. But Tim's got a little surprise for us. He's got a special transport. He's going to take us to a couple spots that we might want to detect. Let's check it out. Tim, take us to the right. first one, man. You ready? Let's go. Hold on. How about here? Well, holy smoke. I knew I smelled something, Tim. I don't know about this spot, man. Take us to somewhere else. I don't like that spot, here man. Here we go. All right, how about here? Man, it's pretty here, but <coughs> I'm having a hard time breathing up here, Tim. Let's get here out go, of here, here quick. <sighs> Tim, wait oh, my here. gosh. Oh. Holy smoke, Tim! I think we better stay right here in the woods. Right, here. That sounds maybe, good. Maybe another spot next time. We'll see All right, let's you. get going right now. Here we go. All right, Tim's got the first find of the day. What we got, Tim? Looks like we got ourselves a nickel. Oh man, maybe it's a war nickel. <laughs> I check it out the date on it, man. Six. Good job. Well, that this Tim's first time ever using the Equinox. He's got my spare machine over here, and he dug a twelve, which is a low number. That's a good job digging that, Tim. That would be a perfect number for gold at the beach, too. So, good, good job, man. Gold. Keep it up. I'm actually using the uh, DAS today. I hadn't used it in a long time, so thought I'd give it a shot. I got to readjust my mind on how to use it, that's for sure, because it's a totally different numbers and sounds and everything than some of the other detectors. So, anyway, I'm doing a little training period here to kind of get back in and gear with it. All right, stay tuned. All right, I finally see a coin in, this, in the soil here. Let's see what we got here. All right, is it modern? Oh, it's a modern nickel. Look at that. Way out here in the field, a long way from uh, the house, is a modern nickel. But hopefully it could be a real next time. All right, let's keep looking. All right, I got a nice signal, nannies. You know that's probably be a good signal, right? Uh, I think I see what it is, though, but it's not that great. But it was a good signal, I knew that. Nannies, it's a padlock. I don't think it's that old. We'll check out and see if we can tell the date on it. Probably not that old, but kind of cool. I like getting those high signals like that. All right, let's back up and keep moving. <laughs> All right, Tim says he's got something round in the hole. Round us in the hole. All right, we like the roundness, Tim. Let's see what we got there, buddy. Could be something old. Could be something good. Let's Looks check like it out. a weedy. Ah, uh, yep, that's a weedy. I see one cent on back right there. Almost looks like a Why silver so tone to it, though. That's kind of weird. I see I one think that's cent. That's one of those million dollar weeds. You know what? I mean, it could be. I think that's the only one that has one cent like that. We'll have to clean it up and look at it later, though. Check it out. All right, let's put it up. Keep getting us find some silver, Tim. All right. That is something. I've never... All right, Tim just popped the plug out of the hole, and he says he's got something round something sticking round. out somewhere. He he says, I got to find it. Where's it at, Tim? I still don't see it. It's right there. Oh, you do see a little tiny lip on it. Look at that right there. Barely can see it. It is round. It's green. Now. It is green. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Tim just dug a weedy here, not far from here, within about 10 feet in it. Yeah. So maybe it's another one. Looks just but like the weedy, other one. The weedies, uh, that means you're in the time frame of some silver, baby. You got to have some silver. Oh, it's too. got corrosion and all. Oh, all right, know, we'll clean it up one. and let you know. All right, stay tuned. All right, just dug some roundness out of the hole, and it was a 92 on the day, so it should be something good, I would think. Not sure what it is yet. What is it? Ah, uh, it looks like a Roosevelt. What is it? Is it silver or copper? It's a dime. I see Roosevelt on it. I oh, will have to check the date on that one. It'd be nice if it was silver. Don't know. It could be. 92. I haven't used a dais in a while, so not sure what the number should be on a silver versus non-silver. She's cleaning up pretty good, though. All right, let me clean up and check it out. We'll let you know. All right, one of the reasons why we're hunting this area, it used to be an old home site right over in here, and where those uh, beehives are right there. It used to be a home site right there, and Tim actually found a Virginia button right here. And we're thinking there's maybe some activity in here. We're not too far for some major activity, but a little ways. I just dug this piece of lead, melted lead, and that's a good sign of like a camp or something going on right there. It's got that white patina on it. So you know it's an old lead, it's not something modern. So anyway, we're digging in here where he found the old Virginia button, hoping to come up with something. So here we go. We're going to keep getting up. All right, Tim and I have moved to a new spot. It's an old Confederate line right through here. We're going to check out right now. Uh, we didn't. We barely got two nickels to rub together the other spot. We got two nickels and a dime. So we moved on to a new spot. So let's see if we can get here. Here we go. All right, I am certainly hoping there's a bullet. Still backing it behind this wall right here. 
behind this mud right here, but it's deep enough it should be. I don't know where it's at yet, but. Might be a little higher right there, so I'm gonna take a chunk out of the top of it. Right here. It's underneath of a root here, and I can't get down to it. It's under the root. So, let's see if we got it out that time. No, we did not. We might have to come down this way. On the other side. Right like that. Alright, it's out now. It's definitely out now. Oh man, I don't see a bullet though. What is that? Nah, it's definitely not a bullet. But it's something around though. It is. Uh, it's a button. I think. Either a button or a shotgun chill. I think it might be a button though. Might have found a button. Maybe. I see a tab on back right there. There's a one button would be great because that will keep me from getting skunked. Right, let me clean the front of it a little bit. I think it might be. Alright, let's clean that up when we get home. Got my fingers crossed that this is going to keep me from getting skunked right here. A colonial flat button. Alright, let's bag it up. Alright, I've been digging a while and I think I might have finally found the first bullet at the end of the day right here. Uh, look, it's kind of still clouded up here, but it looks like it might have a little bit of the shape. Let's clean it off a little bit here, see what we got here. It still could be modern, I don't know. We need to see them three rings on it. Oh, I see them, baby! Woo! Finally! A three-ringer! Ah, that was a tough one coming right there, man. We've been working hard to get that. I've never been so happy to get one single bullet my whole life. Awesome. All right, let's bag it up. See if we can't find a couple more before we get out of here. All right, Tim, I didn't get skunked. How about you, man? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, man. Come on, man. you got to get at least one. <laughs> got a signal down here between these roots right here. and It's, it's tough digging in here. And this area has been pounded. I mean pounded. I pounded it, and my friends have pounded it. But we still pull a few bullets out of here. You didn't get to it yet, did you, Tim? It's still way in there. It's still way down in the hole, baby. Let's get it out a little bit here and see if you can get a hit now, maybe. Not yet. <laughs> Man, not even close enough to get a signal on it yet. All right, we're going to dig this out now. We'll let you know in just a minute. If, if Tim comes through for us, all right, Tim, we're counting on you, buddy. We're counting on you. I'm going to get it. <laughs> all right, man. All right, stay tuned. All right, Tim, we're counting on you. Come on, All man. Right. Let's see what we got here. All right, we're down, we're down underneath that root. Oh. I see something down there, Tim. Come on, man. Come on through. We both got to get Ooh. one. I think you might have something. It's looking Look like it. <laughs> Rub it off so you see the three uh, oh, rings man. on it. We got to make sure it's a, it's a, it's a bullet. Got to make sure. I see it. I oh, see yeah. it. All right, good job, awesome. Tim. Put it there, brother. <laughs> All right, man. All right, we both got at least one bullet anyway. Man, they've been tough today, honey. He? We've hit three, plate, four places, and this is the first bullet we found in this little hole right here. All right, Tim, hallelujah. let's see what else we can get. Let's do it. All right, hallelujah. Just dug a hole out right here, and check it out. I'm almost sure it's another one. Man, pretty sure. Let's do it. go ahead and see if we can't see the three rings on it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I see them. Awesome. Another bullet. It sounds like it might be another one in this hole. I think this is some dirt they scraped off an area that has Civil War stuff in it. And it just collected right here probably. Alright. Awesome, man. It's a tough day today. But we're getting them. I, I think this is a bullet. Looks like it's been chewed up actually. Not sure, but I think it is. We'll have to clean that up and check it out. But it's right beside the one I just dug right there. So I think it might be a couple more in here. I'm going to keep digging around here so we can find but. That's definitely a fire one. We didn't find some some ones that aren't fired, but I think this is definitely a fire beat up one or chewed up or something. I'm not sure. We'll have to clean that up and look at it. All right, we might not set the world on fire today, but we didn't do too bad, did we, Tim? What do you think, Tim? We didn't Tim? do bad at all. I think we did all right. Did, are you glad to get out of your office for a minute, Tim? It's very nice to get out of that office. But Tim uh, sits in his office all day long, so he's wanting to get out a little bit. You might have noticed by the very beginning of the video, Tim owns a virtual reality company so, and we weren't planning to do that little intro, but uh, five minutes he put it together like that and we did it. And I, I thought it was pretty cool. Might have to do it again, maybe. That's what do you right. think? <laughs> <laughs> 
Look out, you never know what, what you might see. All right, let's check out what we got here. All right, over here. I don't know where all these came from. I wasn't near anywhere. You know what I'm talking about? All right, but anyway, uh, we did get some trash, dug some uh, shotgun shells. That one first field we hit was, uh, uh, had this, this was everywhere. Uh, Slaw City, Can Slaw City, man. I'm telling you, it was everywhere. But then we hit another spot and didn't get anything. In the third spot, we finally started getting something. I did do this, this um, lock at that first spot right there. I'm not sure how old that is. Uh, we're doing a um, out in the field closeout, so I hadn't had a chance to look anything up. But we did get some Civil War bullets. Got three bullets. This one's like it's chewed up really bad, but from the weight, the size, and everything, I'm 90% sure that is a bullet. But they certainly are, no question about it. I uh, got a little bit of clay, a dime, a nickel, uh, a penny, and I did get this colonial button right here in this last place we're at right here. Pretty cool. So we did get a little colonial today too, just a little, little bit. And Tim over here, he was over there digging, to, digging away too. He got this one spoon. I'm not sure how old that is right there, but I did dig some silver uh, early 1900s in that one year. So he might, he was over in that year. So that's probably what that is. He dug two bullets, three ringers right there. Uh, one of them might have been pulled a little bit different size right there. Not sure about that one. And he dug a uh, wheat penny here, and I think he dug a silver, 43 silver. Steel. Right there. Come home and check. Do what now? Steel. Steel. What did I say? Silver. silver. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I got like silver, but I'm, I got silver in the mind. <laughs> Tim has never dug a silver, and that's on my mind too. We got to get him a silver. And it's steel. I'm sorry about that. I got a steel penny right there. 19. It'd be 1943, I think, it was the steel ones. But you can tell it's not copper. If you look at it right there, it is shining like steel. So pretty sure that's a steel 43 wheat penny right there. And we got, that's about it, I think, there, Tim. But, uh, and we did get some exercise. You got some treasure of, size today. A lot of exercise. We yeah. did, man. We were crawling, climbing, all kind of stuff. So we did get some good exercise today. All right, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.